What is up guys? Hope you all are doing good. This is gonna be the another interesting video. So watch till the video ends. And let's jump on the main point. So, a couple of days ago, we learned that Samsung is increasing the cover screen size of the Galaxy Z Flip 5. The Z Flip 4 features a mere 1.9 cover screen, but it was reported that it will get significantly more prominent on the Z Flip 5. We thought, it would look similar to the Oppo Flip Phone Find N2 which features a 3.26 cover screen, a jump from 1.9 to a little more than 3.3 which is considered a pretty significant jump. But Samsung has other plans in stores. Instead of making it look like a Pose Flip Phone, they are planning to fill up the entire cover surface area. You heard that right. Ice Universe mentions that, the Z Flip 5 cover screen is going to look like this, where it covers the entire half of the phone's back. There will be cutouts for the cameras and the rest is all screen. Honestly, I didn't expect Samsung would take such a huge jump in addressing arguably the biggest weakness of the Z Flip, which is a tiny cover screen, and make it its biggest selling point. By the way, Samsung isn't the only one coming up with this design. Their old rival motor roll is also working on literally the same design for their cover screen. Evan Blass shared the official marketing renders of the upcoming Moto Re Ozer and it's going with pretty much the same approach as Samsung except the camera is in a horizontal layout. Honestly, I'm more excited about how they are going to actually utilize the screen. Will it again be limited in what it can show you? Or Samsung would just make it another window into your entire Android operating system like their Z Fold lineup? I guess we'll know soon enough. Moving on. We have some other information about the Z Flip 5 specifically about its storage sizes. So Mobile has obtained information that Samsung will offer the Z Flip 5 in three storage configurations. It's 128GB, 256GB, and 512GB options, just like the S23. But whether or not you get the latest UFS 4.0 storage speeds, depends on which storage variant you're going to get. The 256GB and 512GB variants will use the new UFS 4.0 specification, while the 128GB will use a year-old UFS 3.1 storage. That's because, Samsung currently doesn't manufacture UFS 4.0 chips with a storage capacity of less than 256GB. UFS 4 allows for double the sequential read and write speeds, compared to 3.1 which is a massive difference. But there's some workaround, if you are planning to get this phone then you should either get the higher storage variants, or just pre-order the phone, because Samsung will run a similar campaign where pre-order customers will get a free storage upgrade just like with the S23 lineup. That's all for today, and as always thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, and share it with your friends if you found this video to be helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, if you want more videos like this on your feed.